What's up, gang? It's your favorite brother sister duo. There's a wedding in New York. Um, uh, my cousin's getting married. Actually, I give Brennan a 30% chance. Yeah, Katie, yeah, yeah. an 80% chance. Okay, yeah. The line's probably somewhere. Somewhere in between. Okay. Should have been there hours ago, but we missed our flight. Just. Really? So it's like it's your first flight, kids. Watch the video. It's another day in which we saw Ryan Ardo. Mm -hmm. Here we are. It's Friday. Congratulations. Ryan's not speaking because he has food in his mouth. Good job. That's good man. <clears throat> A little late this morning, so I'm taking the cereal with me. Why are you late, Ryan? Sleep in a little bit, maybe. Not really. I got about like 6:20. Whatever. Isn't 6:15 the time that you uh, set your alarm for them? Yeah. So I was moping around. Moping. I think it until 6:20. Uh. Spirit Day. Ah, so you know you gotta wear school colors, and then tonight we have a Western themed a Western themed football game. Ooh, it's the homecoming game. I'm so excited for it. Huh. So yeah, you wearing my cowboy boots to the game? Yes. Fantastic. I'll put them out on the uh, stairs. All right, thank you. Um, does mom have a cowboy hat? Uh, yes, but it's um, it's in Maryland. Maryland? What, what do you mean it's in Maryland? It's in Maryland. Oh, it's in Maryland. Yeah, that's disappointing. Yeah. All right, it's whatever. Okay. Wedding in New York. Um, uh, my cousin's getting married. Woo, Rachel! Very excited for it. Um, Mom and Dad are flying up today. Yes, we are. Just, You're not coming? In just a few hours. You're not coming? What? No, I'm not going. Seriously. I said, hold off on that. <laughs> I wanted to stay for the homecoming game, so I'm going to stay for the football game tonight. Fly up tomorrow morning. Oh, by yourself? Yeah. You, you good with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. Um, uh, I uh, finessed a little direct flight, so that's that's fun. Non-stop into Rochester. Non-stop into Rochester. Wow, out of where? Tampa. Out of Tampa? How you getting out there? Out of Tampa. What? How you getting to Tampa? Ubering. You're going to Uber to Tampa? I'm going to Uber to Tampa. Oh my gosh. How much is that going to cost, do you think? A billion dollars. Wow. You know, Steph Curry's about to sign with uh, <laughs> Under Armour for the rest of his life for a billion dollars. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Anyway, he can afford an Uber. He, he can, can buy Uber. He can buy Uber. Then I'm gonna get in at. I don't know what time I'm getting in at. Uh huh. But, uh, like the wedding is that day, so I'm gonna need to. You guys need to, are gonna probably pick me up, and then I'm gonna go home, like shower, get ready, and then go straight to the wedding. I think. Well, okay. Uh, well, you got to be on time, right? Mm hmm. Oh boy. I would give it about a 10% chance that you make it. I make my fault. Huh? 10%? 10% that you actually make it to Rochester. All right, well, have a great time tonight. You got a bonfire going? Got a bonfire and a little tailgate pre-game. Pre-game tailgate. And then, uh, and then it's game time. Love it. Sir. Love it. Hey, um, I was watching the vlog and mom was asking you, you like to take you to school more? Remember that? Yeah, I, did. I was watching that. And I thought, oh, here you go. I hope he doesn't break mom's heart. <laughs> and um, then you said you didn't want to. So go ahead. She'll never see this. <laughs> go ahead and tell her. No, it's you, obviously. Why would I tell mom it was you in her car? Like right. in her car when she's taking me to school? Obviously not. It's you. Right. Hundred percent. I know. And I'm 
I mean, just come on. Love you too. It's been every single time. Well, she's she's sweet, right? Right, but she's, we're men. Exactly. We hang. We hang. We do football picks. Yup. Talk about chicks. <laughs> <laughs> talk about beer, wings, big hair, big hair. Hey, what are we gonna do about your hair? Explosions. Oh no, Nani's gonna freak out when she sees your hair. Well, my hair. She's gonna grab it and pull it, and she got, she's gonna say, "This is way too much hair." <laughs> um, and then she's gonna yell at me for being a bad dad. <laughs> Hi, bud. Have a great day. Love you. Thank Safe you. journey, and we'll see you in Rochester. Do you wanna, you know, no. No. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Bye, dad. Right. See you. Thank you, teachers. Yeah, I will. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love that kid. We are on a flight here, getting ready to go to Rochester for the wedding. Um, Ryan, you guys already talked about what? What's up? It's a holy, uh, a holy uh, a sacrament. Ceremony. Sacrament, yes. Um, so you and Ryan already talked a little bit about that this morning. Is that right? Yes. Okay, fantastic. And now, Kate, whether he makes it, I know. Fingers crossed, because that that would be a bummer. A huge bummer. I give him a. 40% chance. <laughs> oh, Actually, true. I give Brennan a 30% chance. Yeah, Katie, yeah, yeah. an 80% chance. Okay, yeah. Ryan's probably somewhere. Somewhere in between. Okay, we'll so see. you guys, so check, well, you'll know tomorrow. So tonight you'll know if Brennan and Katie make it because they should be on the way to the airport probably right now. I just talked to Kate, or I just texted with Kate. She was still in class. <laughs> and then check out tomorrow's video to find out if Ryan actually makes it. You'll know if we're all together. <laughs> So this is our new reality. Everybody's spread out everywhere, and now we're trying to get everybody back together. Get the band back together. So we'll have a good flight. We have a really long layover. It's kind of a long day of travel because it's not a direct flight. So we need to go. Let it sandwich out, everyone. It is. Enjoy your day. We'll see you soon. All right, you guys, we just realized that we should have opened the window for this video. It would have been a lot better. We did it in the dark before, and now it's light. But anyway, here we are, and then there's light. This is Brian and Katie. Somehow we made it to the airport. And we're early. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. How are we doing? Happened. Yeah, we're early. And look at all the people on our flight. I can't see Maybe they just won't show up. You can't see them in. Yeah. They're smart. They Maybe. realize that it takes two seconds to get through security. But like, we knew that. What I time just... is our flight? 105? 109. Dude, we're super duper we're early. Like, it's 12.40. Yeah, so like Tallahassee Airport isn't like the other airports. The other airports, you have to come like an hour early. Normally you walk right on to the flight. Yeah, you come an hour early before your boarding time, so it's usually an hour and a half early. Go through security, get some we food, sit down, make sure up. you're okay. What are you talking about? That's like the rule of thumb. Yeah, the rule of thumb, but we never do that. We show up five minutes before our flight boards, uh -huh. and then we walk right on. But in Tallahassee, if you show up like five minutes before your flight, you can still get on and make it. But I made that mistake because too many people were flying one time and I missed a flight. It was terrible. Anyways, me and Katie are uh, getting ready to board a flight. We're going to Charlotte and then we're going He's to lucky Rochester. I'm alive because oh yeah, because I got locked phone, out. My his phone was dead and his computer was dead and his Wi-Fi or his power was out in yeah. his house. So I show up and, and at twelve when we're supposed to leave and I like knocked on the door and he was like. Mm. Like, so the garage code wasn't working because all the power was off. So usually we lock the front door and then I can just put in the garage code and then I can get in. But Chris. I had to call Chris. My phone was on one percent. I called Chris. I was like, "Dude, you have to come back to the house right now because I cannot get in." So we had to skip his class, come back, unlock the door, let me in. I, Katie helped me pack. She clutched up so hard, packed all my stuff. Bruh, I'm probably open, missing something, if you honestly. Open Brennan's suitcase. It Do I have like, gray pants in there? It looks like dirty laundry. It was yeah. just like dumped in. I just took. I just took all my. I took all my clean laundry and like socks and just underwear and just chucked in the basket. So. so funny. Yeah. But we made it. We're here. We're alive. Caden drove us. Thanks, Caden. Thanks, Caden. And we're, uh, we're going to be in uh, Rochester and T-minus. Might take seven hours. How long is our layover, do you know? Um, we take off out, out of Charlotte at five something. <sighs> but we could go white water rafting. We should go, go white water rafting. Let's go do something fun yeah. while we have our layover. All right, we'll see you guys in uh, Rochester. Or maybe no, we'll do a Charlotte. We'll Charlotte. see you on the plane, and then right. we'll see you when we land, and then we'll see you in Charlotte, and then we'll see you. That's your responsibility, girl. I'll take this one. You get the next one. <laughs> All 
All right, we landed in Baltimore and we're changing planes. We have a bit of a layover here. So Mike and I have chosen to sit in these little rocking chairs and look out at the construction. But at least it's like by a window. I'm gonna do a little editing so you guys get a video tomorrow. Yeah, What's the yeah video tomorrow? tomorrow. Tomorrow's video yes. is gonna be about, well, tomorrow from today, when you're watching this video, you've probably already seen it. But anywho, tomorrow's video is gonna be about Ryan gets his new golf clubs, oh, yeah. which is exciting. Mm -hmm. And, um, I can't remember what else happens that day. Mm. Oh, Katie, I think Katie has some uh, some stuff to share with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing is, just so you know, so the, so Katie and Brennan are together flying from school, from Tallahassee, and they missed the flight. So um, they, <laughs> they, did. they did. I told you. I know, <laughs> I know. But they rescheduled. They wanted to wait until they rescheduled before I told you. But they rescheduled, so instead of landing tonight at seven when we land which is how i coordinated this whole thing six months ago so we'd all land at the same time no they're gonna land at 11 30. so to go back out to the airport and get them at 11 30. i told you they were I there was 40, 40, 40, this is the thing though apparently they were there 40 minutes early and they sat at the wrong gate which was just really but it's like it's your first flight kids anyway that's how we learn that's how we learn <laughs> i said to brendan he's over for two out of tallahassee if you guys didn't watch that, he also missed a flight going to Lauren's wedding. We missed our flight. Um, it was at 109 and we sat at the wrong gate oh, for like 45 minutes. So, yes, basically, we were being really silly. And we, wa we weren't even being we silly. Being we literally went to the gate and then we went over to the woman and she was like, we're not boarding anymore. I was like, the plane is right there. Like, the like it was still attached to the walkway and everything and i was like just open the door let us in like we have our tickets and then they were like mm, mm, we're gonna have to rebook you and i was like okay do it then so um it's now 404 we board at 4 30 so we're gonna go do that or we leave at 4 30 so we should go board now so we don't miss another one but i've been doing lots of homework so okay brennan's disgusting he doesn't brush his teeth or shower so it's been really stupid. We've been here for like four hours. We'll see you guys on the plane if we make it. After we're in the back line. We're in Charlotte. And because we missed our flight, we're gonna get in at like twelve. Okay, you wait, I'm gonna go. I'm hungry. This is ridiculous. All I eating today is a Belvita and a biscotti cookie. Let me go get some food. We're gonna get the bag. I got the bag. Can you, you, you can't even see it. You keep moving. There we go. Um, yeah. And now Brendan's like Mr. Harry Styles listener because he listened to one of his songs once just now. It's Harry Styles. I've never been a crazy Harry Styles fan myself. I do like him though. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna be here for four hours. <laughs> Air Force State plays at 7.30, so we gotta go watch that game. We can go find a good place to watch the game at. Yeah, I, the game at. We're going to find a place to watch the game at. Do you mean a place where we will watch the game? <laughs> yes, period, because you can't end a sentence with at. Shut up. We got some sammies. I need to connect to the, I need, I need to connect to the airport ox, so I can play Harry Styles for everyone. Hey, dude. Oh, that was the Hey! It's been a really long time. Hey, I'm so doing mad. Florida State's winning 7 0. They're looking pretty good. W. Hopefully on the way. So, I hate Louisville. Get it with the L. Because hopefully it is. I miss you, Mom. Okay, we made it to Aunt Jackie. Sir, so Aunt Jackie. Hello. Jackie, you want this box? <laughs> Hello, everybody. So we box? just played Euchre, which is our favorite game. You guys know we play Euchre. And Aunt Jackie and I beat Uncle Dean and Mike. And so we won a lottery ticket. We're going to win $10,000, which is very exciting. At the same time, the Florida State game is going on. There's way too much going on here. We've got to try to juggle it all. 
Brennan and Katie, I don't know if they vlogged or not, but they are in Charlotte now. They're halfway here, but they have a huge layover, so they're watching the game in Charlotte, and then they won't get on the plane until 10 o'clock tonight, and then get here at midnight. So, it's been, the day's not really going as planned. Well, for us it is, <laughs> but for them not so much. Hey, did I call that? You did. Oh, yeah. We could rewind the tape and uh, look at the very beginning. You said 80% chance that Katie would make it, and Brendan wouldn't, though, and they were huh. together. <laughs> That's interesting. We're on the, our second plane. We're watching the game. We just thought it's going to die. Go, 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 go. You can't kill us. Oh. Should we start on the plane? We're not in Tallahassee, so that would be really yeah, awkward. Awesome. Uh, we're in Charlotte? Are we in Charlotte? Charlotte. It's 10 o'clock. We should have been there hours ago, but we missed our flight. Why are you wearing your hat like that? Stupid to me. Okay. What's up, gang? It's your favorite brother sister duo. We have officially oh touched down. It's literally so cold. We've touched down in Rochester, New York, so at a blistering 58 It's 58 degrees. I can't feel my legs. Florida State Seminoles won. It was crazy. We were watching we on the plane the whole time. That was electric. Huge dubs for the city. I would Where say that I would say that we're officially back. We're just walking. Don't say that we're back yet. We're back. FSU is back. Three and oh, baby, we're back. We'll catch you when we get to the crib. How'd it go? Very good. There was a lot. It was busy. Really? Yeah. Friday night at the so airport. Busy. Yeah, midnight. Night. Oh yeah, really? Yep. Mm-hmm. So Malia and Nick went and picked up Katie and Brendan from the airport. Let's see where they are. Katie! Hi, Rick! Hi, Brendan. Look at you wearing your Seminoles. Love it, you guys. FSU just had an amazing game tonight. Yay! Hi, sweet girl. I'm missing you. Oh, my gosh. I'm tired. Oh. Do you Mike, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> How do you? Dad, he's so very angry. Dad, Everybody's you know what? hanging out. I saying get, um, I get compliments on my calves. Um, very oh, often. Oh, you have Weird. dad calves. Weirdly often, and I always say they're because my dad has really nice calves. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What made you happy today, King Elizabeth? Um, getting here safely and seeing my cousins. Yay! If Natalie would talk to me, but... I know, she's chit-chatting with her mama right now. She's spilling some tea, I guess. How about FSU winning? Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Oh. It was like, kind of more fun to watch it on the game, because it was like... You mean the plane? To, like, what? I, the plane. <laughs> Watching on the plane was fun. How about you? What made you happy today? Uh, everybody getting here safely. Yes. Do we still have Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Tomorrow. Get here, Ryan. That'd be great. What made you happy today, Natalie? Do you, you want to share? Coming. Yay! I'm so excited. It's going to be a fun weekend. We have a lot to do. You, have, you don't have to work tomorrow, do you? No. Okay, good. No, no. What made you happy today, Miss Jackie? Um. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. What, what made me happy? She's enjoying the spotlight. <laughs> what um. made you happy today? Seeing my brother. That's a good answer. <laughs> Coming in from Uncle Mike. Very good, Jackie. Thank you for having us. <laughs> oh, and how about winning our first game of Euchre? Well, not our first, the first game of Euchre. The first game of Euchre. Well, we're going to come back. Absolutely. Okay. Not a doubt. We, we, might be, we might be down two, two to one to two right now. Well, we won the first game, and then Dad and Uncle Dean won the second two. It happens. What made you happy today, baby doll? Uh, seeing everyone here. I'm very happy to be here finally after we missed flight. And um, obviously, Florida State 3 0. I mean, can't beat it. It was a great Feels game. It was great. We're carrying the momentum into uh, Family Weekend, our parents' weekend against Boston College. Everyone's going to be there. Stadium's going to be packed. Check it out. Osceola's going to throw the spear. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for Osceola's throw the spear. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I missed you. Good to see you. Okay. Uncle Dean, do you want to share what made you happy today? You know what made me happy. <laughs> oh, come on. Not Don't just winning you, but playing you. Okay, that's the That made that's me happy. Oh, thanks, Dean. That's awesome. We love playing Euchre with you. What made me happy today was um, also getting here, playing Euchre, and um, FSU winning. It was such a fun game to watch. Brennan and Katie said they were watching it on the plane. They were sitting next to each other, like, screaming and cheering and everything, and people were like, what is happening over there? So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for when Ryan comes tomorrow, and the D5 will be all together, finally, for the first time in a long time.
again. And comment down below what made you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later. Thank you.